hi it's a beautiful day out here so I thought we'd do some of our work outside welcome to week six of our hip and knee program here I am in the yoga garden and today we're going to be working on strengthening the hips so we've had five weeks of working on various aspects of hip and knee rehab today we're going to work on strengthening the hips I highly recommend that you do these videos in order um, there's a progressive skill building involved here and the reason we're talking about hips even if your knees are what is your issue right now, a lot of the muscles that work your knee joint cross the hip joint. And in my experience, and in most of the experience of my teachers, it's what's going on in the pelvis and hips that affects the lower part of the body. So we really wanna address what's going on in hips. We're gonna start in a lying down position. This can be done on a yoga mat on the floor. You can also do this work on your bed. It's slightly more effective to do it on a harder surface in your mattress, so if at all possible, you can practice transferring to and from the floor with the chair, we did that in a previous video, and uh, come down to the floor with me. One of the kindnesses I'm going to offer my body is a folded blanket um, to cushion my spine. I'm working on, as you can see, patio brick here, so it's kind of hard. So I'm going to take my blanket and stretch it out on the mat and this is going to support me from the base of my skull all the way to my pelvis. The other thing you'll need for today's practice is a yoga block. If you don't have a block, you can use a full box of Kleenex. That tends to work quite well. So coming to this position, knees bent, feet on the floor or on your mattress and just allow yourself to center into your yoga mindset. So it's really important that we bring our whole selves into this kind of work rather than just plopping into a couple exercises and saying, okay, I can go about my day. You really have to bring your A game if you want to get top results. So choosing which side you want to start with, um, I would suggest going to the side that's less painful today. We're going to lift one foot up and place our hand at the front of the thigh. Just like this. Notice the knee isn't all the way into the chest. It's just about halfway in. You won't see a lot of action, but you might feel it if you're doing this along with me. As I exhale, I'm going to try to pull the leg closer into my body, but push back with my hand. So there's some resistance here. So I'm going to do that as I exhale. Inhale, relax. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Let's just take a breath between sides. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. What I'm working here is the muscles that do this action on your hip. Every time you want to lift your leg or pull your body down to your legs, it's called hip flexion, this is the muscles that you're using. So we're working on strengthening those muscles. It's important to go slowly and not push so hard that you create any pain in your body. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inhaling here. Exhale, knee lifts halfway, and you push back with your hand. Inhale, release the foot. Exhale, create resistance. <coughs> Inhale, release the foot. And exhale, create resistance. Let's take a breath to rest. Notice I'm only doing about three breaths with each movement. The more often you repeat these little rehab vignettes, the more effective they are. We're not trying to exhaust you or overwhelm you with so much to do. These are little things that catch your brain when your brain is fresh and you can learn better patterns of movement. Now the movement is to take your hand behind the thigh and the thigh is going to try to move away like this but my hand's going to pull back creating that isometric contraction. So inhale Exhale, pull your leg away while pulling back with your hand. Inhale, relax. Exhale, pull your leg away while pulling back inwards towards your hand. Inhale, relax. Last time, exhale, isometric contraction, trying to extend the leg, but you can't. Relax, take a breath between sides. It's important to stay as chill as possible when you do this kind of work. Other leg hand behind. Now say you couldn't reach your leg, your arms are just too short. Use a strap or a tie and create a sling with your arms and then you can do the same movement with your leg against the resistance of the tie. Inhale, 
Exhale, try to pull the leg away from you, arm pulls back. Inhale, relax. Exhale, create resistance, working to about 50 to 60% capacity, not too aggressively. And one last time, exhale, create the work. Inhale, relax. Got a little bit more to do here. Take a breath to relax, to make sure your brain is still available for learning. We're going to take the hands to the outsides of the thighs. When you're ready to inhale, exhale, try to move the legs apart from each other, but the arms hold them in place. Inhale, relax. Exhale, try to move the legs apart, but the arms don't let you. Inhale, relax. And then one more time. That's called abduction, trying to move the legs apart from each other. You'll feel muscles maybe around the buttocks or outer hips kind of talking to you when you do that. The next movement is the opposite movement called adduction. We'll use the same methodology. Inhale. <clears throat> As you exhale, try to bring your legs together but resist with your arms. Inhale, relax. Exhale, hands between your legs preventing your legs from closing. Inhale, relax. And last time, legs together on the exhale. Inhale, relax. So you're working your muscles in your hip area quite a bit. So take as much time as you need. Pause the video if you need a rest. The last movement is kind of one leg does one thing, one leg does the other thing. This helps to reset the lower back, so it's nice for people who have sciatic, or sorry, uh, sacroiliac issues as well. We start the same way, one hand in front and one arm behind. So I've got this hand behind one leg, this hand in front of one leg. Inhale, exhale, push with one hand, pull with the other hand so your legs are kind of scissoring. Inhale, relax, exhale, Push with one hand, pull with one hand. Inhale, relax. And exhale, push with one hand, pull with one hand. Inhale, relax. Now I was using my left hand to push and my right hand to pull. I'm going to switch that around now. So I've got my right hand at the front of the thigh, left hand at the back of the thigh. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, push with the right hand, pull with the left hand, and do the opposite with your legs. Inhale, relax. So my right leg is trying to push forward, my left leg's trying to pull away. It's a little bit confusing. You might have to practice this video a couple times to kind of get that all organized in your brain. <laughs> and then we're done with that. Relax for a moment. Take a breath in and out. And we're ready to transfer back up into the, a standing position. So rolling over to your side and pressing up carefully from the floor. You can use a chair to help you transition as we practiced in a previous video or maybe you're gaining more confidence and you don't need the chair now. Doesn't matter. Take your time as you transition. The nice thing about using these videos is they're at your pace so you can stop and start and rewind as many times as you need to so that we keep up together at a comfortable rate. I'm going to move over to this wall over here and uh, I'm going to shift the camera just a little bit so that you can see a little bit better because you'll need a bit of wall space to do this next bit of movement. And you can see I'm adapting what I've got in my yard already. You don't need any special space to do this. You can take these practices with you when you travel. It's all quite, quite doable. So what we want to do is stand in mountain pose close to the wall. Not too close, but fairly close to the wall. Depending on your range of motion and your body structure, I'm about six inches away from the wall. And I can have a hand on the wall to kind of give me a little bit of uh, balance here. I'm going to take my leg that's closest to the wall, standing up straight, so I want to keep my body tall, straight up from the ground. I'm going to take the outer edge of the foot against the wall and push. And then I'm going to inhale back to mountain pose and I'm gonna lift the leg and push against the wall. I'm doing that as I exhale. 
Let's try that again. Good, and back to mountain pose. So about three breaths is enough. I'm not gonna turn around the other way because I wanna be able to see you, but you're gonna turn around, look the other way and do the same thing with the other leg. So remember your standing leg that's closest to the wall now, you're doing the second leg now, is about six inches away, maybe a bit more. Keep your spine, your body standing tall. And then inhale in mountain pose. Exhale, lift the leg out to the side, a little pressure against the wall, and then back into mountain pose. Exhale, leg comes out to the side. And you'll remember from when we were laying on the back, this is called abduction. And we're strengthening the outer hip muscles when we do this. I'm gonna change my camera angle because I'm gonna come back and work at the mat again now. So the next movement is a little bit to strengthen the back or the rear kinetic chain. This is where we're going to use our block, or if you don't have a block, a full uh, box of Kleenex will work. Transferring back down to the floor, you can have your chair close by to do that, or just come down on your own if that's coming along for you in your rehab. And we're going to place the block in between the knees. Feet on the floor, arms at your sides, gaze straight up to the ceiling. Take a moment to settle here again. Relax through breathing. Now feeling where your feet are on the floor, notice my feet are aligned pretty much underneath my knees. You don't want them too close into your body, but you don't want them way down there at the end of your space either. Press firmly into your heels. Feel the buttocks muscles start to engage. Push your knees away from you as you slowly lift the hips. And then relax back down. And let's do that again on an inhale. Press into the heels, press into the feet. Lengthen the knees away from you and lift the buttocks. Inhale, relax, and then again, inhale, lifting up, and relaxing. Take the block or the Kleenex out for between your legs. You've done a great job. Remember, the more often you can repeat this little sequence, a couple times a day even, it doesn't take a lot of time once you get the method down, the more your gains will come. Stay tuned. Next week, I'll drop another series of exercises. Namaste. <laughs>